this video Excel here with NDigilabs. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to insert equations in Excel 2010. Uh, to get started, make sure that you're in the right sheet. And uh, to insert an equation, you, would, you can simply go ahead and drop down this option that gives you a list of uh, pre-formatted equations. So let's say if I just wanted to use one of these equations, all I have to do is just select on it and uh, that will insert an equation into my working space. And obviously I can go ahead and rescale um, and uh, also resize this, uh, this equation uh, box right here. So if I wanted to, let's say, maybe change the font size to be something around a 20, I can, I can do that. Um, and I can scale this up a little bit if I wanted to. And then um, um, in, in order to edit this, let's say if I wanted to populate this with the numbers, well, it's, it's easy. You just simply click in it, um, select the information, and you can start typing your numbers uh, in the equation. Now, um, let's say if you wanted to uh, add something to this box, well, it's pretty simple. You just hit Enter you go back to the insert tab just click on equations now um, here you can type in your your next equation and it's it's really simple if you're trying to add a fraction in your statement well just go ahead and select the type of fraction or type of style that you want to use and uh, let's say if I wanted to use something like this I can uh, populate this with the numbers so just by going back and forth and uh, let's say I want to do an equal to sign and uh, maybe after this I want to use, uh, use maybe some of the brackets I can just go ahead and use that and you can also use some of the traditional math symbols such as the iota, beta, approximation sign everything is in here so you can use one of those uh, uh, symbols that uh, fits your equation the best. And if you just want to enter normal text, um, you can press enter to go to the next line and then just uh, make sure that when you're entering um, the information in the next line, I would actually repeat that step, go to equation, but here I would just mark it as normal text. So I can uh, type anything here. So that was just a quick roundup of the uh, equation editor in uh, Excel 2010 and if you have any questions or comments please make sure that you post them in the comment section below and visit us at www.mdglabs.com for more tutorials on Excel and Windows.